would you do to get shade? Money. You know, the people over here are the big. I, I sat with good company. Nice yeah, very nice people. The bigwigs over here are in the blazing sun, dying. They yeah. wish they were here. Are you guys holding up? Ryan Seacrest is going to try to get your job. He so he asked can, you a question. How, what'd you, how am I holding up? I'm sweating and I'm delirious. How do you feel about the fact that they killed him off Breaking Bad and you're still alive? How did that happen? How did that happen? Hard, what were they thinking? Oh, wow. oh, that's such a cruel Cut thing to say. It still lives. I can break his ribs from here. <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm saying my character's a worm. Oh. It's hard to kill him. We're not talking about your character, numbnuts. We're talking about my character. A lot of people are very sad to see him go. Were you surprised by that? Because he wasn't exactly the most sweetest oh, guy. He was the only guy who was living in reality. I mean, you got uh, Walter White's crazy v ego, and uh, he's the only character who went... I mean, my wife felt so bad when he, his character was killed. She was, he was the guy that she related to in the show because he knew what was going on, and he was right. Some and that's how I feel about my character. <laughs> Some people feel like those eight episodes where it got a little too dark. You know, Walt, Walt went to the point of no return. What do you think? I get it. I get how people feel that way. But you know what? One of the great things about Breaking Bad is that it really, it, it really goes there. When someone dies or gets killed, you feel terrible. It's not just like a video game death. So, yeah, it's, it's a little bit potent. But that's what's great about it, you know? Thanks, guys. Stay cool. Sure. Thank you.